Creating jobs. Utah leaders are hopeful a new program with Amazon will get more students ready for in-demand careers. COVID impact economic specialist Lad Egan's tracking this and the other employment developments today. Lad? Yeah, let's start with unemployment on this first week without that $600 boost. But the positive news out of this latest report is that over the last two weeks, new unemployment claims have dropped by 28 percent. It is trending in the right direction, but it is still certainly an indicator that individuals continue to have their employment impacted. New claims totaled just over 5,000 for the week ending August 1st. For that same week, there were more than 81,000 ongoing claims. And another important figure, about 4,500 Utahns stopped requesting benefits. Today, the director of Utah's Unemployment Insurance Division reminded that weekly checks will eventually run out before some jobs come back. Individuals in those industries need to start looking for employment in other industries. We are on week 21 in the surge in unemployment. Normally, the checks end after 26 weeks, but because of the CARES Act, there are an extra 13 weeks after that. Also on the job front, a major new initiative between Utah and Amazon Web Services to get students ready for cloud careers. This is a partnership that Governor Gary Herbert hopes will ease some uncertainty. Many people are afraid because of unemployment. The statewide program will offer cloud computing training and certification to 5,000 students over the next two years. This is going to provide a lot of people opportunities to enhance their skills. And we are thrilled that students will be able to gain access to these resources across the great state of Utah. Amazon Web Services says it will provide the student courses and teacher training at no cost. Utah needs a sustainable pipeline of trained and certified students ready to enter the cloud computing workforce with real world experience. Congratulations, everyone. This program is seen as a way to bridge the current skills gap by offering this training at Utah technical schools, colleges, universities, and even some K through 12 schools. Reporting in Lehigh, Lad Egan, KSL 5 News. Good news, Lad. Thank you.